Hey everybody, it's Kyle Nitro for Nitro Maniac TV's wrestling channel and these are my predictions for the 2019 Royal Rumble. Uh, as you're seeing this, I am prepping to head down there and I'm going to be on location in Phoenix uh, over Rumble weekend and that stuff and heading to the event. So I am excited to check out my very first Rumble in person and uh, it should be a good event. The card looks, uh, I wouldn't say stacked, but uh, it, for the first card for 2019, solid. Start with the pre-show stuff. We got the U.S. Championship on the line. Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, I think this is where uh, Rusev might actually get a, a win over Shinsuke uh, here. So I, I, I got Rusev retaining in this match. Um, it's kind of a sad thing to see Shinsuke at the state where he is right here. Uh, maybe he can have a good showing in the Rumble match because I've, I have a feeling that they'll utilize him in the Rumble match later on. Got a four-way for the Cruiserweight title with Buddy Murphy, the champion, defending against Tozawa, Hideo Itami, and Kalisto. Um, I think if they wanted to laterally move the championship to someone in this match, uh, I think that Itami would be the guy that would probably walk out with the title. Um, but I don't really see that happening, so my prediction will be Buddy Murphy will retain the Cruiserweight title here, and 205 Live will go back to its uh, dormant state until WrestleMania, and we will find out who the big uh, matchup will be for um, Buddy Murphy at WrestleMania. Could it be Kushida? Who knows? SmackDown Tag Titles on the line. The Bar versus Shane McMahon and The Miz. Uh, we saw the build up and come to a fever pitch here this past week on t uh, Tuesday on SmackDown with the bar sending the Miz into the announce table and just beating the holy hell out of Shane McMahon. Um, they're going to build this up because I have a feeling that this is going to be Miz versus Shane McMahon at WrestleMania. So uh, I think that they're going to try and establish this during this month as they're a team. They're going to lose the belts at the next pay per view and then tease dissension to the point of feuding at WrestleMania. So um, I think Miz and Shane McMahon will walk out the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. Ronda Rousey versus Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's title. Uh, I see Ronda winning here. Uh, I think it's going to, and retaining the belt, I should say. Uh, I think this is going to be the kickoff, and the Rumble match itself could be the kickoff as well for the Horsewomen versus Horsewomen feud that will we will probably get at WrestleMania in one of the main matches, if not the main event match. Uh, so it'll start to set the main event picture for WrestleMania uh, here with this match. And um, I, I think that uh, Ronda will retain, although uh, the match that they had Monday night, the tag match with, with uh, Natalia and Bailey on uh, the opposite sides too, and that stuff with, uh, the sorry, it was Sasha, Bailey versus... Ronda and Natalia on Monday was great. Um, wardrobe malfunction aside, on Sasha's bit, uh, you know, it was a really, really decent main event. I really enjoyed Raw this week, uh, as well as SmackDown, too. Both shows brought their A games going into the Rumble, so uh, it's going to be a great weekend down there. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, but Ronda will retain here. Asuka, the SmackDown Women's Champion, will defend the title against Becky Lynch at the Rumble, and I think. Becky Lynch will beat Asuka at the Rumble and get her name on the SmackDown Women's title, uh, only perhaps to lose it due to the Horsewomen's interference in February uh, to someone, maybe a back to Asuka in a rematch, but we'll see what happens going on down the road in there. But I think uh, Becky Lynch will walk out the SmackDown Women's Champion over Asuka in this match. WWE title, Daniel Bryan, the champion, versus AJ Styles. I honestly had a hard time trying to pick a winner for this one. I honestly see this one going to a no decision uh, just due to Daniel Bryan perhaps uh, cheating in this match. Um, it's going to be a very decent match. It could be a match on the night contender. Um, if they do it right, it could be even a match of the year candidate at the end of the year. We've seen them happen uh, as early as 2017's Royal Rumble between AJ and John Cena. Uh, have a match from the Royal Rumble, I should say, uh, up for a match of the year candidate. So uh, it's happened before. I wouldn't be surprised if this will be a candidate for it by the end of the year as well, if it's done correctly. But um, if I had to pick a winner here... Mm, I think Brian will retain in this one. I really do.
Brock Lesnar, the Universal Champion, taking on Finn Balor uh, for the Universal title. Uh, sorry, Finn. I think this is just feeding you to uh, Brock Lesnar here so we can see what happens coming out of the uh, the men's Rumble match here, which I, I, I've, I think the winner of that one will be, well, I'll tell you in the next segment, but uh, Brock will end up being the champion coming out of this one so that he can hand the belt to the eventual Rumble winner at WrestleMania. The men's Rumble match will go to Braun Strowman, in my opinion. I think Braun Strowman will be the winner of the men's Rumble match. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll see for surprises. I really doubt that uh, the big, huge surprise of like a Kenny Omega signing with WWE uh, probably is out the window now at this point. Um, we might see some legends show up. Uh, we might see... Uh, a, a bunch of the NXT, well, we probably will see the NXT call-offs, uh, Heavy Machinery in the match, and uh, EC3, definitely. I think EC3 might be poised to have a standout match, but Braun Strowman is my pick to click in the Men's Rumble uh, to go to WrestleMania and defeat Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. I think that's where they are trending. The Women's Royal Rumble match, I have Charlotte Flair pegged as the winner. I think what will happen is maybe even taking a page out of her dad's playbook. I think she might walk out very early on as number three and just be the Iron Woman throughout. I think uh, she'll be the benefactor of a horsewoman versus horsewoman fight during the Rumble. She might be the last woman standing in that. But I think the seeds will be planted definitely for that. Anyways, it's going to be a great time down there. I am looking forward to it. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm kind of using it as a vacation as well, too. So uh, I'm not definitely going to be, you know, on site for anything and everything. But there are a few things that I'm going to be checking out and I'm looking forward to see. And uh, it will be a fun weekend for sure. Uh, if you're in Phoenix and you checked out the channel and that stuff and you see me in the streets, stop by, say, hey, give me a high five, whatever, and just say, yo, Callan, what's up? Uh, and, uh, um, yeah, it's going to be a great weekend. Happy wrestling watching later days, and we'll talk to you next time, folks. And, uh, heck, we'll uh, see you down there for sure.